Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to be with us. We ask you to help us apply the word to our lives. Father God, we ask you to help us be mindful of what you're trying to speak to us. Father God, give us ears to hear and eyes to see. Father God, bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' name, amen. So the verse of today is Philippians 4 and 11. I'm not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content with ever the circumstance. Subject, he's enough. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. God is enough. I am content. I am strong. I'm not worried. Sometimes when we eat, it's not enough. When we sleep, it's not enough. When we make our weekly, monthly, or bi-weekly check, it's not enough. We are never satisfied. We are always wanting more, looking for more. But when is enough enough? When are we filled and say, I'm content? Before I met Christ, I, would, I was never content. I was never happy. I was always looking for more and nothing wasn't enough. And as I allowed God to fill me, I realized that what I thought wasn't enough was what I thought I wanted, I didn't need. And what I truly needed was God. And I needed his love to complete me through and through. What do you have that's enough? Is there enough food in your cabinet? Is there enough money in your account? God wants to be wants us to be filled with him and allow him to be enough. Can you do that? Can his love, grace, and mercy be enough for you? If we let him, he can be plenty. He can give plenty. He fed the Israelites and gave them water. Also ensured they wouldn't need any new shoes because they never wore out. He made sure their clothes never tore because he's a good provider. He's always a good, he's always been, and it always will be good enough. God always is sure we have what we need, and he's asking us and telling us he's enough. Do you believe that he's enough? Exodus 14 and 4. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out daily and gather enough for that day. In that way, I will give, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. See, he rained down bread from heaven for them. And each day they were able to eat and they were able to be full and be content. But like all humans, it wasn't enough. Numbers 11 and 1. One day the Israelites started complaining about their troubles. The Lord heard them and became angry in that he destroyed the outer edge of the camp with fire. They complained about what God was doing and they made him angry. He destroyed the outer edge of the campfire because they felt what he was doing wasn't enough. They were, they even went as far as to say this in verse five, in Egypt, we could eat all the fish we wanted. And there were cucumbers, melons, all kinds of onions and garlic, but we were, were starving out here. And the only food we have here is this manna. They didn't care what he was doing. It was never enough. And this is what's happening today. We complain about what he's, he isn't doing and what he has given us isn't what we want or need but when will we get to the place where we see that what we have with god and what he gives us is more than enough we will feel completely full because we are accepting him as being enough philippians 4 and 12 i know what it is to be in need and i know what it is to have to have plenty i have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation where they're well fed or hungry where they're living in plenty or in want that's why paul says to be content with what you have to be content with what's happening in your life because when god provides he provides according to his riches and glory if we go based on our wants and our needs we'll always get it and we still will complain that's why we must ask god what do you want from me what do you want me to do? Are you okay with me having this or that? Sure, he wants us to ask, but we need to make sure what we are asking is what he wants for us. So let me say this. There's nothing wrong with wanting more in life. It's nothing wrong with saying, I need this or I need that. But what we don't want to do is not be okay or content with where God has us at. Because some of us are in a season in our life of growth. Right now, God is trying to show us where we need to be and what we need to do. Many of us don't want that because it requires change. It requires giving more of ourselves to God and letting go of our ideal of more. Today, God is asking, if I am enough, if you are content where, where I have you, can you walk in the season that I have placed you in? To walk in the season, we must learn to rely on him, to be okay with what he wants us, want of us and hear him and fully listen to what he's saying. 
To grow, we must learn to be watered. To be watered, we must sit still. Be, being content shows growth. It shows that you're relying on God through it all. And, that, and that's how you can do this through his strength. God loves us so much and wants us to trust him through our ups and downs. And every day isn't going to be great. Every day isn't, isn't going to be worse. Isn't going to be a hard, horrible day. But every day with Jesus will be complete because we are doing it with him. Learn to be content with your season. Prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everything. Lord, we ask you to teach us how to be content. Lord, give us more of you and help us to be help us to accept how you are watering our lives. Lord, we need more than you, more, we need you more than ever. Lord, help us to produce more of the fruits of the Spirit and help us to rest on you and nothing else. Lord, we need you to help us grow in you daily. Lord, we thank you for mercy and grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference Philippians 4 and 10. Rejoice greatly in the Lord that you finally renew your concerns of me. Indeed, you are concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. Philippians 4 and 10. For Philippians 4 and 11. I'm not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the, the circumstances. Philippians 4 and 11. Philippians 4 and 13. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Philippians 4 and 13. Further reading, Proverbs 21. Daniel 3, Malachi 4, and Matthew 26. This ends. He's enough. Remember, the, to read this devotional will be the links in this podcast if you want to read it. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or a friend. If you can, please share on social media. Thank you. Be blessed.